a special program produced by RCTV, Reinhardt College Television, in Waleska, Georgia. From Reinhardt College in Waleska, Georgia, this is Renewing American Civilization. In this, the final of 10 class presentations, Congressman Newt Gingrich, an adjunct professor at Reinhardt College, will continue his course, which presents the foundational principles necessary to the renewal of American civilization. This week's lesson, Citizenship in America, focuses on civic leadership, communities, and the voluntary community sector as a third part of the American public-private society. Welcome to uh, Reinhardt College for the uh, last session, and I want to welcome the students of Mind Extension University all over America, and I understand also parts of uh, Canada and Mexico. Uh, I want to remind everyone that they can uh, mail their comments to Renewing American Civilization, Post Office Box 6008, Marietta, Georgia, 30065, or they can fax their comments to 404-528-9806, or they can email their comments to America Online, renewam at aol.com, or they can get class transcripts and other class materials on the internet web page http colon double slash www.pff.org or if they just want to go to the standard technology of the last 25 years they can order American Civilization newspaper video and audio tapes and course readings by calling 1-800-2-RENEW. Uh, I also want to uh, let everyone know that Mind Extension University will rebroadcast uh, starting Saturday March 18th 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time so People around the country who want to take the course uh, can pick it up at Mind Extension University for free. And of course, uh, we give permission to videotape it and keep it and share it with your friends and neighbors. Uh, and uh, a an inter very interesting development, Michael Ciamara and Marty Connors uh, are at a new area code, 334-242-7116. They are offering the course in Alabama at the state capitol with Governor Fob James as the host and sponsor. Uh, and uh, that'll be uh, starting uh, in, uh, I think, late March, early April. Anybody who's interested in that can call them at that, uh, that number, 334-242-7116. And they're bringing together quite a team uh, to help teach the course uh, in Alabama as an experiment where the governor of the state is encouraging state uh, senior executives and others to take the course. I also want to make a point that this course has been offered here at Reinhardt College. Uh, Reinhardt College is a tremendous liberal arts college uh, with a long tradition of giving students an un unusual background, unusual opportunities. And anybody who is interested in, in Reinhardt College as an excellent liberal arts college uh, can either write uh, the uh, college admissions in Waleska, Georgia, or can call 404-720-5526. But it's a very, very interesting blend of uh, the very traditional and the very modern. And uh, uh, they have uh, in their broadcast studio, I think, as fine a facility as anything we've seen. So it's a, a very, very impressive. Now, let me just say, uh, remind everyone that the five pillars of American civilization are first, the historic lessons of American civilization. Second, personal strength. Third, entrepreneurial free enterprise. Fourth, the spirit of invention and discovery. And fifth, quality as defined by Deming. And that these are the five core things. We spent two hours in each one looking at how they apply to America. And then we have been applying them to four areas to look at how the pillars apply. Uh, and that the four areas we've been applying them to are first, the third wave in American civilization. Second, creating American jobs in the world market. Third, replacing the culture of violence and poverty with a culture of productivity and safety. And fourth, citizenship and community in the 21st century. And of course, this is the fourth uh, of these uh, areas and the last uh, class. And today's class is going to be on uh, citizenship and community in the 21st century. And I think this is, in a sense, the capstone class because community and citizenship I believe, are the keystones to the entire course. Uh, without a commitment to community and citizenship, nothing works. And I think one of the things that, that uh, Dr. Kathleen Minix and I have concluded is that we have to drive very hard at the cultural framework 
and uh, getting across the idea these are not things your government can necessarily pass a law about. They're, they're part of your culture. They're part of the background framework. They're the way you wake up and how you think about things in the morning. They're not uh, what the IRS does to you or what the FBI does to you. Now, this entire two hours is going to emphasize a level of activism people are not used to. And part of our core discussion is going to be that you can't solve our problems within the framework of a government-dominated, bureaucratically delivered sy system. That in a free society, you have to rely on the culture, on individuals, on values in a way that is different than what does the government do. And a lot of people will say, well, gee, I'm too busy, or I really can't afford it. And I want to take you back to something we used very early in the course, which, which we thought was so powerful emotionally and we frankly like so much. We want to use it again. And I want you all the way through this. We're going to show you once again Chamberlain talking to the main mutineers. Remember, it's on the way to Gettysburg. The regiment had mutinied because they thought that they had signed up for two years and the government had now decided it was for three years. And so they, were, they thought they were legitimately standing on their rights, that they could not be coerced into serving. They'd volunteered. They'd fought for two years. But they, they, they didn't want to be coerced into serving. And so the army on the edge of Gettysburg uh, has said to Chamberlain, who is himself from Maine, that these folks are now in your, in, in your charge. Do with them whatever you want to. Uh, and, and the officer who comes by says, you can shoot them if you want to. Because they're mutiny. They're refusing to keep doing things. I want you just to remember what, what, what we're going to talk about for the next two hours is to ask a few hours of time to ask a little bit of commitment. And as you listen to what Chamberlain is talking about and you think about what he was asking them to do as citizenship, I just want you to put in context the person who says, well, I'm really too busy. I really don't have the time. Or that would really be awkward. And consider how tiny the request we're making for people to be citizens compared to what Chamberlain had to ask. So let's take a minute or two and let's look at Chamberlain just before Gettysburg.